Now, the man known as Russia's Grey Cardinal has resigned as Vice Premier after more than a decade in the halls of power. Vladislav Surkov became a renowned ideologist and was thought of as a leading figure behind the scenes in the government. Well, for more on this and his resignation, let's talk to RT News editor Ivor Crossy. Um, this was a shock departure, wasn't it? What led to it? Yes, it came as a bit of a surprise today. Uh, Surkov had been working as Deputy Prime Minister in uh, Dmitry Medvedev's cabinet with responsibility for government policy and media policy. Uh, his resignation follows a particularly fractious cabinet meeting with President Putin yesterday, where Putin criticised the cabinet for ticking boxes but not following through with substantial policy reforms. He called their, their work superficial. Uh, Surkov uh, begged to differ during that meeting, uh, and his resignation was accepted by Putin shortly afterwards. He's called the Grey Cardinal, isn't he? What, why is that? Yeah, uh, Surkov is, uh, is the, the an eminence Greece, the Grey Cardinal of, of the Kremlin, known by, by Russia watchers. Uh, uh, everywhere, uh, he is the. He came out of PR into the Kremlin administration and is the concept architect behind what's known as sovereign democracy. This was the ideological and political pillars around which Vladimir Putin built his early uh, administrations. Sovereign democracy uh, ex advocated values of pride independence and uh, what became known around the world as I, I guess as Vladimir, Vladimir Putin's don't lecture us stance uh, when it came to uh, democracies in transition particularly young democracies uh, such such as Russia's some would say it put a veneer of democracy over what were Russian political traditions uh, and was was a reasonably controversial uh, topic or a reasonably controversial policy uh, at the time and remains so he uh, then uh, became Surkov became better known for, for managing the PR around that. Uh, he was a, a, a very capable PR operator. And as everybody knows, uh, political PR in Russia uh, are particularly choppy waters and difficult to negotiate uh, at the best of times. Surkov basically defined the parameters by which the, those kind of PR events and, and PR arguments would take place. He was an, a, a madman supremo, as it were, a madman supremo, should I say. Uh, and uh, because of his work uh, on the political PR side, Side. The expression Surkovskaya propaganda entered the, the contemporary Russian lexicon. You mentioned that row with Putin that he had. Uh, that's not the only row, is it, recently that he's had? Well, it's, it, it, he's, you're, you're referring to Skolkovo here. And when Surkov worked with uh, President Medvedev on modernization, he advocated setting up the uh, Skolkovo Tech Technology Hub, the research excellence hub that, that's now uh, running outside Moscow. Now, uh, Surkov uh, had a strong vision for modernization of Russian economy and, and bringing innovation culture into Russia's economy. Uh, Skolkovo most recently has been involved in a, a rather controversial corruption Corruption probe. Uh, Surkov has, uh, has been engaged in a public dialogue with one of the uh, prosecutor spokesmen uh, spokesmen on that. Uh, but uh, it was stressed today that uh, Surkov's decision to resign had nothing to do with that, and, and that it was related to his role as deputy prime minister for carrying out the president's orders or for carrying out presidential policy. Okay. Well, thanks for giving us some clarity on that. That's um, RT's news editor Ivor Crotty. Thank you. Andy. Thank you.